Hi there, everyone. How you doing? Jeff C. Here it is Wednesday, November the 5th. And that means, of course, we'll do it live. The Real Alternative Podcast will be on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Please don't miss it. That will be on Red Pill Revolution. Now, somebody sent me this. I don't know. It's somebody named Brian Roberts. I have no idea who the hell that person is. But um, he sent me this video, and it's the Ed Show. <laughs> might as well be the Dead Show, because if you actually watch this garbage, you might as well be a corpse. You might as well be a zombie. And speaking of zombies and Ebola and Ebola Green... Well, um, wouldn't you know it, though? Sandy Hook's color was green. You remember the Sandy Hook colors? I mean, everything was green for Sandy Hook. All the propaganda, the trees, the ribbons, the nail polish, you name it. They love that color because it's the color of mind control. It really is. And um, Red Pill just put up a video today showing all the green programming in um, the Ebola whole green psyop, which I've been exposing for months now. And uh, wouldn't you know it, they've come out now, NASCAR, NASCAR, all on board, good American sport, right? You drive around, push the gas. Um, NASCAR's come out with this car, is a tribute to the Sandy Hook, the 20 children that died. Sandy Hook is just such a terrible, terrible tragedy. Well, let's listen in here to Ed. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us tonight. The shooting massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School renewed an intense debate on gun control in this country. And on Sunday, the tragedy will take center stage at NASCAR's biggest race of the year, the Daytona 500. Two-time Daytona champ Michael Waltrip will be driving this tribute car instead of the usual 200-mile-per-hour billboard. Uh, you know, I, I hate to say it. I don't want to see anybody get hurt, but if one car has to crash and, and burn... <laughs> I won't tell you which number it should be, but uh, you know. <laughs> so what? The families don't have enough money? The hundreds of millions of dollars that you made off the fucking biggest psyop um, in Connecticut history um, is not is not paying off enough, so you need your NASCAR guys to come and sport the green. Yeah, mind control. Waltrip's team changed the car's number to 26 to honor the 20 first graders and six adults gunned down in December. This paint job encourages fans to send a text to donate ten dollars to the Sandy Hook School Support Fund donate. operated by the United Way. You That's motherfuckers, how much money have you stolen from sheeple? I don't know, hundreds of millions, you know, and you keep coming for more. It's two fucking years later, you're all fat and rich. Donated fifty thousand dollars to the fund after the wall trip. Look at that. Made this emotional visit to Newtown earlier this month. I'm joined now by NASCAR driver Michael Waltrip and Brandon Davis, the owner of Swan Racing, who are getting ready for Sunday's race in Daytona Beach, Florida. Michael, congratulations on qualifying yesterday. Great to have you on the Ed Show tonight, as well as you, Mr. Davis. Well, we really appreciate it. Yesterday was a lot of pressure to put that number 26 text Newtown to 8888 into the field, and it was a big deal. A lot of pressure. You got a lot. Who's pressuring you? Mm? <laughs> for our team a big deal. Our community to know community. That have something to cheer community. for. Community. Children. Community Think of the children. Great American race. There you go. Great uh, American race. Great American community. Sport. And uh, we couldn't be prouder for the NASCAR family rallying around this uh, yeah. great cause. Just go around circles. Just go around circles. <laughs> You know it doesn't exist in NASCAR? Right turns. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're an auto fan. I just, you know, I don't get it, you know. But you know what? Whatever. To each his own. But, uh... <laughs> Michael, why did you turn your car into a tribute to Newtown? Well, Mike Kelton, who was a NASCAR president, had a friend who lived in the Daytona Beach area. And his friend's son... Friend of a friend's um, son. His grandson was in school. Friend's son, grandson's... <laughs> <laughs> was in the school that day. He saw what happened. He was there. He heard the bullets. When the tragedy occurred. Yeah, the tragedy. And um, Hans this guy looks like he really game. believes it. He asked Mr. Helton, could you maybe get some of the first responders a pit tour? Show them the racetrack yeah. a little bit yeah. so they can come down. Give him a pit tour. <laughs> throw, <laughs> throw him in a pit. Throw him in a burning pit with hot coals. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they oh, deserve. For Mike Kelton's brain to go to work. And it's all, yeah, it's all took. How he could do more than that. He called me up and said, we'd love to put uh, Newtown love. to 80888 yeah. on your car. 8888 Casey. 
<laughs> oh, I gotta say, yeah, Casey did leave a comment in this, by the way. Um, Casey, I hope you, you do something on this too, man. Community and uh, Brandon Davis, our car owner, was kind enough to allow. Kind enough, look at this guy. Delivery. Does he look like he's comfortable? Connecticut town uh, in the school colors on the race car. But before we wanted to announce it to the world to tell everybody what we were doing, we took that trip up to Newtown and visited with first responders, teachers, yeah. even some of yeah. the victims' families. Awesome. And indeed, there they are. There they are. Get moment. fat. And from that day until now, <laughs> I left part of my heart yeah. in Newtown. You left part of your heart. Oh, well, you left part of your heart there. You should have left the whole thing there. All right, cut it out. They would eat it. They're Satanists anyways, right? <laughs> I'm so thankful. Uh, we were able to get that car yeah. in the show. Yeah. There was a lot of there you go. She'd eat it. <laughs> She'd eat the whole body, man. <laughs> it's the green whale. <laughs> to get in, we're in now. We're, we're going to celebrate Sunday. Celebrate. And hopefully give those folks in Newtown uh, three hours or so of joy, something that they can joy. Uh, sort of take a break from. Yeah, I take a break from, yeah, all those hundreds of millions coming in. Ah, it must be so hard. Oh, it must be so hard. Oh, look at this guy. Doesn't he, he hasn't said a word yet. He's just like, I can't believe I got myself in this. Enjoy seeing their car on the track. Going to sleep. Brandon Davis, what kind of reaction are you getting from fans? What kind of reaction do you think you're going to get on Sunday? <laughs> very good reaction so far. Very good. Uh, one of the things that really surprised me Swan. when we were in Newtown unveiling the car, Michael and I, and Brian France, the, uh, the local fire and rescue were there, of course, the first responders. Of course. And they to us that they had a, a, a Daytona 500 watch party every year. And they were very excited. Very excited, yeah. In the car. And I'm very happy to support that. And everywhere, everyone I know across the country is behind Everyone. This. Everyone. And I hope everyone, everyone. Uh, whether they're a NASCAR fan yeah. or not, I guess behind Everyone. Just keep showing the guy with the green hat. <laughs> Just keep showing it over and over again. This guy here, Skullface. And text Newtown to 80888. I have to ask you, Michael, the shooting in Newtown renewed the gun control debate. In, in ah, the there you go. And of course Get the, to the agendas. Hook parents have uh, yeah. spoken in favor of regulations such as background checks and maybe some other things. Where do you come down on this issue at all, or does that matter? Um, we are here to race cars, and anytime yeah. our community. Just racing cars. That's all we do. We're here. We're here just to race cars. All we do is turn left all day long. <laughs> We don't even know how to turn right. You know, we just go around circles. A <laughs> hundreds of times. And they got the Americans up in the stand. Yeehaw! Gas car! Woo! <laughs> There's the green car! It's hurting. We rally around the races. It's rally. We heal ourselves. And if you think about the healing process that the town of Newtown and the folks uh, from Sandy Hook are faced with, yeah. this runway is yeah. very long, years and years. Very long. Therapy and <laughs> counseling and, and just trying to, to heal these folks and, and make them uh, uh, try to return to some sort of normalcy. It's some we, type of normalcy in their mansions. <laughs> Right? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this beautiful Connecticut, right? Rolling countryside, huge mansions, stately mansions, right? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful to sport the green and be part of this whole giant fucking farce, this psyop that never ends? It never ends, folks. It never ends. I'd love to never talk about Sandy Hook ever again. I mean, like, yeah, nothing better than, hey, Jeff, guess what? We're never going to talk about Sandy Hook. All right, awesome. I'm never going to do another video on Sandy Hook. But you know what? They keep bringing it back again and again and again and again. And here we are, and it's November the 5th, and we're still a month and a half away from the big day, the big anniversary. But you know it. They're already getting people primed up. This is how they do it. They're revving them up. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Revving them up vroom, vroom, as they move forward with the Ebola green and the mind control and everything that's going on, the programming. It's such a sick world that we live in. You know, it's so crazy. It, it should be the dead show. It should be the walking dead show because all these people, um, all the people that watch this are the walking dead, 100%. If you sit down, you watch the Ed show, you might as well just kill yourself because you are as stupid as stupid can be because it's nothing but fucking programming. MSNBC, do I have to remind people what, what MSNBC is? They took one of the worst things in the world, which was um, the... NBC, National Broadcast Corporation, or whatever the hell they're called, and they added something to it. They added the MS. And guess what the MS stands for? Microsoft! Woohoo! <laughs> 
So they made one of the worst media outlets a hundred times worse, a million times worse. It's exponential. It gets worse by the minute because it's Microsoft, and Microsoft just destroys everything. Microsoft is just awful. I don't know what all that's going to entail and what all it could encompass. And so um, we're here to race our car, do what we do yeah, best. Do what we do best. Uh, Drive left. The, the event, the Daytona 500. <laughs> Lift turn. Lift turn. To the Fed's, uh, Lift turn. Lift turn. Lift turn. Political as, as we're Lift turn. <laughs> you got to go around the, circles. You are says the Sandy Hook School Support Fund has raised over nine million dollars so far. Aww. Where do you hope the money will go? Yeah. I hope that it oh, goes yeah. to, to helping the families that need it. It's going to go to the, the green whale. <laughs> it's going to go. you got to feed the green whale. Where is she? She's there now. you got to feed the green whale, right? There she is. <laughs> you got to feed her. I mean, it must cost a lot, right? Take care of that lady. Right? I can't even get it to freeze on her. Arg. Where are you, green whale? Anyways. <laughs> not, just, not just the money, uh, but support. And support, yeah. And the rest of the is behind them. I know there's been a lot of controversy over this. Yeah. Uh, after this incident. After. Across the country. And, and, and this, uh, we're hoping to pull everyone together. Yeah, we'll pull to everyone together. Mind control. Need, uh, because they're going to need it. Programming. A ton. Yeah, we're going to need it a ton. They're going to need it a ton. Yeah. For the children that never fucking died, for the millions and millions of dollars that they receive, and the fucking mind control that continues, and the disarmament of Americans, and the oh, monarch programming green. Oh, it's so dark and disturbing. And these guys are probably just useful idiots. They probably, in their hearts, think that 20 kids died. I don't know. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. But, uh, and I'm sorry to make fun of NASCAR. I know some of my listeners are probably fans, you know, and they're going to get on me and say, yeah, oh, Jeff, you should understand. It's actually a good sport. Nah, not a sport. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're driving a fucking car. It's not a sport. Eh. It's a race, right? It's a race, and it's exciting when people crash, is it not? But uh, anyways, I digress. I just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks, Brian.